Now, if you're if you're sending your file, if you're designing in Flex C and then sending it through VersaWorks or Onyx or Rasterlink or some of these other programs, you're not going to have this feature. Okay. If you're actually printing through Production Manager, you will have this feature in version 11 of Flexi. And it's really banner folds, bleeds, and grommets. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me open a fairly large file. We just came from the ISA show, so you know this is a nice big file right here. This band, this little image, is 72 inches long by about 54 inches tall. So what I'm after is, um, as an illustration, I'm actually trying to make this into a banner, and I'm going to hang it on the wall. So I need to put grommets in it, and I need to fold it, and I need to hem it, and I need to do all those pretty things that we do to a banner. So how do I do that? In Flexi, if you have Production Manager, you can click Rip and Print, which is the way that you transfer the image from Production or from Flexi into Production Manager. The trick here is to put it on hold. Normally this says send now. So if I have send now and I click send, it's just going to start printing. I'm going to put it on hold and I'm going to send the file. All right, I'll click done and I'm going to open my production manager up. It may take a second or so because it's transferring the file, so be patient. There it is. Okay, so there's the file in production manager on hold. And then I'm going to double click on this image, this file name down here. Just double click on it. And what that will do is that will make a, uh, a menu come up called Job Properties. And one of the new tabs in Job Properties is found right here. It's called Finishing. These are finishing tools. So literally, what it does is it allows me to turn on, let me go back to that. It allows me to turn on grommet locations. I just click on grommet there. Let's make those bigger so you can see them. All right, those are the grommet locations. And I can change that. If I only want a few grommets, if I want more grommets, I can do it by number. I can do it by distance. You know, how much in between each one. Uh, I can, you know, increase that. Or I can just do it by number. I can even change the color of the grommet if I want to. Make them yellow or white or whatever color I want. Because if I have a white banner, I don't want white grommet holes. It'd be hard to see. In addition, I can also turn on a fold line, so it would actually print a fold line right here. And if I turn on my bleed, it will actually bleed for me. So in other words, what happens is, I'll zoom in a little bit over here if I can. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, I won't hold that any problem. That's fine. Um, so it's actually bleeding this off a little bit so that when I fold it over on that fold line, uh, I don't have that little white crease across the top of the banner, right? And it's also printing these little white dots, so I can actually take that to my table, line up my grommet machine, you know, and actually punch those holes and place the grommets in the right spot. Um, it's, a, it's a nice new feature. Uh, it is a great feature that's included as part of uh, the software now, so that's a, that's a nice little uh, tool.